Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Nikki the Creator, where we talk about everything mindset, self-love, self-care, and just leveling up your self-concept. Before we jump into it, make sure you click the link to my VIP group. I just dropped my third episode of my Queen Mindset podcast. And if the VIP group is not necessarily what you're looking for, I do create custom affirmations and I do have a manifestation guide down below. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so today we're going to be talking about how law of assumption, just mindset work in general, changing my thoughts, change my life. If you don't know what law of assumption is, that's what I primarily teach off of. I'm not just based on Neville, but I do teach about mindset work, neuroscience, self-love, self-care. So my t I teach about all of those topics, but law of assumption is ultimately how I change my life and how I changed how I view myself. Law of assumption is basically your dominant thoughts is what reality you will see reflected back to you. So the assumptions that you have about people, things, places, all of that is what will be reflected back to you. Your assumptions and beliefs were um, ingrained into your subconscious from youth, from a youth, from your parents, from guardians, from school, from music, all of those things because it is impressed into your subconscious from the earlier ages that is why they say in psychology or even you can see it without psychology that's why they will say kids can soak up things that's why when you, a kid will hear you curse they will automatically repeat the curse that is the easiest stage to to impress your subconscious mind that's why children it's so easy for children to learn second languages all of that good stuff all that psychology factual things right so when i stumbled across the law of assumption i was actually going through a rough patch in terms of relationships and money my money beliefs and my relationship beliefs were being reflected back to me in unfavorable ways and I felt like I was on this hamster wheel that I needed to get out of so I started to do a little bit of research because I was a psychology major at that time so I knew that it was something mental and yes um there's many options you guys do not ever count out therapy even though you know about mindset work and neuroscience and psychology, if you feel that you need additional help, do not be ashamed of getting that additional help. I just felt like I was able to handle it and I wanted to learn something and venture into other options, right? So I found Law of Assumption when I found Neville Goddard. I found it through Neville Goddard and at the time I also found Sammy. But I chose to read the books first because I love, I love reading and I bought Neville Goddard's Complete Reader which I ended up ultimately gifting to someone else because that's what I do. When I learn something, I gift the knowledge to someone else, hence me being a YouTuber, right? So I learned about Neville Goddard and Neville Goddard was a great starter for me because he broke down how powerful our mind is. He broke down how important self-concept is, how you view yourself in relation to your desires, but how you view yourself in general. There is nothing to change but self and he's actually very factual about that because I went on to you know, experience it for myself and test it out for myself. So how did I change my life from it being unfavorable? At that time, my relationships, I wasn't receiving commitment. I wasn't receiving consistency. I just was off and on being like rejected here and there. I didn't have any problem with image. I knew that I was pretty, but I had an assumption that um, men mess at that time, men mess up and then they come back around, which is a trash mindset and I'm happy that I got rid of that and with money I felt that you guys hear me talk about it all the time I felt that I had to work hard for money you do not have to work hard for money um, if you want to by all means but I know you don't have to work hard for money so what I did and how we all know the law of assumption works is you get clear on what it is that you want I realized that I wanted to be the kind of woman that received commitment I wanted to be the kind of woman that a man realizes that it's easy to love me like this is who he wants to be with and pursues and prioritize. I realized with money, I wanted to have an abundant money mindset where I wasn't acting broke, where I wasn't clenching anytime I had to pay for little things like like groceries or things for my hair or things for my body or just food in general. Right. So I got clear on what I wanted to be, who I wanted to be. And I started to change my thoughts. I did it through affirmations. Now, this is where um your choice of how you repeat your new story comes in some people visualize some people do mirror work some people say their affirmations out loud some people say their affirmations inside inside mentally some people meditate the point is to just get the repetition in so that your subconscious 
can receive your new story. It's the same way when you were younger. How did you learn your ABCs? Your parents sang it to you over and over. You traced it in books. Even if you have a child, what does your children bring home for homework? They learn their name over and over again. They trace the letters over and over again. It's the same thing that you're doing to your subconscious. You're just relearning what you want, right? And so that's essentially what I did. I chose affirmations that worked for me. I worked primarily on self-concept and my belief in myself like Neville Goddard taught. I taught myself like I'm a master manifester. Everything is easy for me. Everything works out for me. If I had thoughts, opposing thoughts that came up about money, I said, no, this works out for me. I don't have to work hard for money. Large sums of money comes to me from expected or unexpected places. When it came to relationships, I did get with relationships. My path with that was just a little bit longer. And that is because I reacted a lot in the beginning. I was always triggered. I was a little angry little girl. And as I maneuvered through that, I was gentle with myself. I did breath work. I did EFT tapping. And as I ventured through that, I still continued and I persisted. What does persist mean? To continue firmly. That means I did not waver. I said, no matter what, I'm going to change my mindset. It is possible. If I can think in the opposite on favorable way, I can think in a way that's favorable to me. And I persisted in that. Now, what happened next? Has I persisted? I did not affirm all day. I affirmed often. Notice the difference of what I'm saying. I did not affirm all day, but I affirmed often. Often enough for me to know like, this is what is my new story. So what started to happen? I started to see it reflected back to me. I started to attract a different caliber of men. A specific person in my life started to show up differently. Money opportunities started to come to me without me having to do super hard work. P money was just being gifted to me. Money showed up in the mail. I actually have a video of how I got a check in the mail before. That should be, I'll tag it up below. If I don't, it's on my page, right? I just persisted in this new story that I have. And I just thought like this person and I didn't let anything unwanted in my 3D stop me from believing that this can happen for me. I believe I stood on it. I did not waver. I yes, I was triggered sometimes. Yes, I reacted, but I was determined and I was disciplined. I feel like the word for the year is disciplined. I was disciplined. Now, like I told you, with money changes, I saw that quickly. I ended up getting a job that I didn't apply for. So the job that I currently work, I did not apply for the job. Somebody reached out to me for it. And that's how I got it. Relationships took a little bit longer because like I said, I reacted often, but I persisted. Then one day it just changed. It literally just changed. I just realized that I was the prize. It just clicked. I realized that I was the prize and that there's no one like me. And that's when the DM started being flooded. That's when my SP officially changed and I started to experience something different with him. And that's when I actually started being offered commitment rather than half-ass offers. I started to be offered like dates and all of that good stuff. Essentially what I'm saying, guys, is that it's it's not something to... Essentially what I'm saying, it's a lifestyle, guys. I didn't do this to get a SP, which you can have the SP. I didn't do this to get the money. I did this because I realized I did not like the way that I was thinking. I did not like that I was so negative about myself. I did not like that I viewed myself as less than. I wanted to change how I viewed myself. And that's ultimately what made this journey fun for me. Am I perfect? In my head, yes. But am I having it all together all the time do i never react no i react sometimes but i do not let it beat me up and it, and because it's so ingrained in me that everything always works out i don't get caught up on if i have a moment where i react like sometimes my mom pushes my buttons and me saying that is affirming it but just to help you it's like a, sometimes my mom is annoying and sometimes i react but then i have to be like it's okay she's calm she's cool she's fun she's this da 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 it's a journey some of you are looking to other people's success stories over and over and over and over and over again. But when will you be your own success story? There has to come a point where you stop reading other people's success stories and you become it. That's what happened for me. I just realized that everybody was getting what they wanted. People were changing their lives and I wanted to change mine. And so I became a success story. And that should be your goal. Stop. I, I'm, I'm going to say it in every video. Stop over consuming so much knowledge that you don't apply it 
if you are religious, you know, in the Bible, they talk about not just being a hearer, but a doer of the word It's the same thing. You can't just receive You can't just receive the knowledge. It's just like doctors too. They can learn all they want to learn in school, in medical school. But really some of the most important work that they will do is during their residency when they're shadowing the doctor or the, shirt, the surgeon, because they actually have to do the work that they learn. At some point, you have to do the work that you learned. That is what mindset work is. Yes, there's a lot of internal work being done, right? There's a lot of internal work, meaning like you're receiving a lot of knowledge. You're learning, you're learning, you're learning. But at some point, you have to apply the breath work. At some point, you have to repeat the affirmations. At some point, you have to decide to see yourself in a new light and change how you view yourself. You have to decide to be disciplined. At some point, you just have to do the work. So that's how I changed my life using the law of assumption. I still do. I still believe in the law of assumption. I do believe in self-care. So I do put action behind some of my stuff. So yes, I, I take care of myself. I do my hair. I do my nails. I spend time to reset. I set boundaries. So I believe in self-care and self-love as well, right? So I pour into those areas of my life. I heavily believe in self-concept because when you really work on self-concept and you put yourself on a pedestal, every to me everything else just flows easier for me right and so that's how i changed my life guys now do i have more that i want out of life yeah but am i in a place where i'm like i have to have it my life will never be complete if i don't have it no because i ultimately realized that i'm the operant power and i'm gonna have anything that i want because i say so so if i decide tomorrow this is what i want i'm gonna have it but i built myself up to be like this and this is why i teach you guys on my youtube channel i want you to have the kind of fearless confidence to be yourself but to also know yo you know nikki nikki to create on youtube she's right i can't have anything that i want because i'm her because i'm him all right guys so if anything that you get from my videos fearlessly show up as you know that you can have anything that you want and know that all you have to do is change the way that you think change your dominant thoughts and your reality will change that is all I will be back.